see on any of the little boats, they'd arrest me if I got on one of them. <laughs> but my son did. Um, I'm here to talk to you about the 420. And you've heard the 420 and then the International 420. So I'll give you a quick snippet. The International 420 was the original boat in the United States, and back in the late 70s, Chip Jones and Steve from Vanguard decided they really needed something more like the FJ for institutional purposes. The uh, International 420, which had been here for a number of years, is lightweight, it has a full tapered rig, you can change the shape of the sail with the mast. It's kind of split between the Club 420 and the 470 as it relates to adjustability. Um, and the International 420 had you know, grown to the point where it was probably 250 boats in the US, Vanguard used to build them. But they got into the Club 420, which really was one of the things that built the collegiate high school sailing and is here pretty much forever. It's a heavier boat. It's, uh, they call it a dumbed-down version. It's not really a dumbed-down version. It's really just lower performance. There's less adjustability. You don't get to play with the sail shape as much. But it's a great institutional boat and it serves a huge crowd here in the US. They don't have it in Europe. They don't understand high school and college sailing in Europe. But for us, it's, it's living and breathing. It's just it's, it's what makes it happen. The International 420 is the original International 420. And until 1997, when they had the World Championship, in Newport, Rhode Island, it was an extremely active fleet. And then the World Championships was over, and it was like, let me shut the lights out, and everybody went home. Uh, back in about 2000, some of us started talking about what happens to the kids that go through the Sabbath, the laser radio, the laser, the FJ, the Club 420. But there's a certain percentage of them that fall out of the top of the cup there that really want to go on and do something more. And on the international front, the International 420, there are probably today seven or 8,000 active boats worldwide. They put together huge competitions worldwide. We just didn't have much of it here in the US. So starting in 2000, CESA uh, spun off a couple kids and threw them into Europe and said, go see what happens. It built, it built in 2003. We took 10 teams to England. And since then, we've been to Portugal and France and Italy and the Canaries and Spain and Croatia and the riding spots. Each year it's gotten a little bit bigger. It's not huge, it's never going to be what it was, but it's designed for the kids in double-handed that want to go off and do more. There hasn't been a lot in the U.S., but starting this year we have a midwinter's west and east. We're going to have a summer qualifier regatta. We will have uh, the Pacific Coast Championship and the Atlantic Coast Championship in the fall. We'll be part of the Turkey Day regatta. This last year was the first time we were at Orange Bowl. Um, as a class, I think it's been since 1988 since the I-420 was a class at the Orange Bowl. Um, so we got 24 boats from four countries, it was kind of our North Americans. Uh, so it was a good showing. And it will be moving in the future uh, at the Orange Bowl same time and not age restricted because the Club 420 is age restricted, the I-420 is not. My, two of my heroes in the International 420 are two guys from New Zealand, 52 and 56. They have consistently been on the world championship team for New Zealand, and every time they come off the water, I give them a six pack of beer and a bottle of leave and thank them for being out there sailing because they compete against the young kids. Uh, so there's no age restriction. And as far as girls are concerned, in the world championship, the European championship, and the junior European championship, they have girls only fleets. And it's extremely active. And there's some really remarkable sailors out there. Two of our Southern California girls, Sydney Bulger and uh, Caitlin Beavers, last year in Italy finished third in the World Championship in the Women's. They did extremely well. Um, Judge Ryan and Chris Sagerbloom last year finished 11th in the Men's in the Worlds. So we've done pretty well, but it's not for everybody. Um, we have enough supporting regattas here in the U.S. now that we'll have good support so that the kids can qualify to go overseas. In the championship events, you have to qualify. We only get seven men's and seven women's teams in the world championship and in the European championships, and we only get uh, seven teams, period, um, in the junior European championship. Mixed crews are available, so a girl skipper and a guy crew are good in the men's division. They call it the open division. So they have women specific, and then they have mixed or men's. What we like to do in the I-420 is to take the kids from when they start to feel the urge to do something more than a club 420, 14, 15, 16, 
they start, they come to us, they have the CISA clinic, we have a fall clinic for kids that are starting to do well and want to taste it. They can apply for the fall clinic. We get them out there in the boats and some coaching and see how well they do. And then they can start to do the local events now that will qualify them on points for one of the championship series. If they don't make the championship series, they are welcome to put together what we call a European travel team and they can choose any one of a number of regattas that they don't have to qualify for. We just call up the country, say we have kids coming, would you accept them? They say yes, and away they go. As it relates to boats, CEAS has boats here. They arrange for some charters, so you don't have to jump out and spend $12,000 for a boat tomorrow afternoon. And on the East Coast, they do a lot of that. They buy boats like right away. They want to go from the Yappy to the I-420, which is not, in my estimation, really bright, because the Club 420 has got a lot to offer especially as a developmental boat, and it's a great fleet, and we get great numbers of kids out there. There are um, things that we do within the I-420 specifically to train the sailors. When we take them overseas, when we have them here, our whole purpose is to train them how to travel on their own, how to be self-sufficient, how to manage the boats on their own. Now, we're there. We do everything with them. But we are brutal when it comes to wanting them to become self-sufficient, so it takes what they've learned from a younger perspective in sailing and takes it to the next level. We have a couple of alumni here, Mac Mace and Jeff Shiras, who were with us in Greece two years ago and in uh, Croatia two years ago. Uh, and Chris, was, your son was here a few minutes ago. He was with us in Italy last year as we were Jeff and Mac. Um, so at the end of the day, we've had a lot of Southern California sailors. CIS has really sponsored it. NIPSI, the foundation that I run, has also been helping to sponsor the kids to go overseas. And it's something you can go to the usi420.org, that's our usi420 website, and you can check out everything related to there. To, you know, all the stuff we do in travel, you can hook up to the um, Club 420 website from there, you can hook up to the International 420 website overseas. Just gives you a ton of information on what we do and how we do it. The opportunities are there, so if you start to rise to the top and you're getting an itch to go faster and have some great competition, we put, last year in Italy, there were 180 teams on the water from 32 different countries. And there were 80 women's, or 82 women's uh, teams, and 100 and some odd men's teams. Tremendous competition. We're not going to have that size of fleets here. <coughs> we're going to have some really great regattas, especially around the Orange Bowl at, at the Christmas time. That's going to start for us to become, uh, we're going to see some kids from Argentina this year. It's starting to become a pretty important event. Thanks. It's really fun. I want to say one more thing, guys. I forgot to tell you guys. Um, the 420 is the little brother of the 470, which is the Olympic class boat, at least for now, double handed, one of them. Um, today, uh, Stu McNay and Graham Beale, who were the representatives at the 08 US Olympics, started in our 420 program. Uh, my son Justin did, as did Mikey Anderson, um, Adam Roberts. Uh, Nick, there's a bunch of the people, including some of the girls, that started in the I-420 program that have now laddered up for 470. Not that that's where you're headed, but that's kind of where some of the kids end up going.